Whoa. The sky looks so cool. Kind of looks like Blue Tiger. Or am I Call of Duty fans? I love these jerseys. There's a new one actually here, I think hopefully at Epcot. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. Did I wear this last time? I think I wore a different one. I love this. This is the, actually the one I got at Epcot. Let's go on in. We're actually gonna be dining at Coral Reef Restaurant under the sea. It's been a while since I've dined there. I think this is gonna be my second time, but you gotta watch out for, for gators. Surprisingly, they're not setting up for the run Disney. I believe that's on April 18th, the springtime surprise. Interesting. I guess they can set that up in like five days, but usually by now they're, they're kind of setting it up. So far, nothing. We've got a few exciting announcements here on the channel. Real quick, the cruise videos are gonna begin tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully I get that uploaded at the regular time, if not expected around noon. Another zoo right when we get through security. There's a lot of people here. Plain and simple here at Disney, a lot of people here. And one last announcement, it's actually a surprising one. Disney actually released a new Imagineering series on YouTube. I'll link it down below. It's free, it's just their Imagineering YouTube page. I thought they would do it on Disney Plus, but I like that. A free option to watch probably a really good series. The first one's out right now with Josh tomorrow and then behind like animatronics. It's kind of cool. Surprise move in my book because I usually put it behind a paywall as Disney Plus is technically a paywall. Ooh, gotta take my sunglasses off for this one. We love breaking news when we are in the parks live, but apparently Disney has begun filing permits. When you guys see this video on Sunday, it's not really gonna be breaking news. However, Disney just filed permits or is the process of filing permits behind Magic Kingdom, which is gonna be Magic Kingdom's largest expansion ever. Looks like they're definitely gonna be moving forward with their blue sky concepts and we're probably gonna get an announcement at D23, which is huge, huge news. As soon as the lawsuit with Florida has ended, Disney has begun moving forward, which is very nice to see. Will we get official announcement? Probably at D23 on something, but this is big. This is big. Finally, we're gonna be getting an expansion at Magic Kingdom. I wanna go see if this spirit jersey's in here. It's a cool like Pizza Planet one, which you don't really see anymore. I'm unsure if it's gonna be here at Epcot because I do know it's at Springs. Unfortunately, they do not have it here at Epcot, but they do have the, the two that I own, the one that I'm wearing and, and the blue one. Bummer. I really want that spirit jersey, or sorry, the jersey. That's a bummer because it's a really cool one. It's a white spirit jersey, so I think I'd be able to wear it like outdoors in like the heat. Well, with that, let's, let's go get some lunch at Coral Reef. Oh, squirrel. <laughs> squirrel crossing. By the way, this new acrobatic show is only Saturday through Wednesday, so that today they're not performing and they've got this tarp over it. I'm sure someone's making some, some comments on why this shouldn't be in the park. You know, normal Disney Twitter. Now I got Coral Reef for 11.45, which is just right before lunch, so hopefully it's not too busy in there right away so we can kind of get a bit of better look at the whole area because it's beautiful inside, obviously. Ooh, got some construction workers going in. That's the first time I've seen that. Now if you don't know where Coral Reef is, it's actually directly to the right of Nemo, tucked away in the corner. I was gonna go on Nemo today too, but they've actually got switchbacks open. 45 minutes for Nemo. I'm pretty sure I've only dined here once, or it could be twice, but it actually opened up in 1986, about two years after Epcot opened, and it's been actually a hit since. If y'all remember when we actually got a preview for the Moana Journey experience, I went through this door over here. This is kind of like a secret way. There's actually a boardroom that actually goes upstairs. It's actually up in there. You can actually have wedding receptions in there, private meetings. Bob Iger's been up there. A lot of big Disney executives have been over there. But the Coral Reef restaurant opening, or sorry, um, front lobby is going to be over here to the right. And this is where we're going to be headed on in in about 15 minutes or so. Not quite sure what I'm going to be getting yet, but I think I'm going to get a shrimp cocktail. It's going to be like a pre-cruise appetizer. And then their entrees, maybe the slow-roasted prime rib or the shrimp and grits. 
I haven't decided yet, or maybe even the chicken too. Dessert's probably gonna skip on dessert and maybe potentially get something around the world showcase here. And if you have kids, here's gonna be the kid menu as well. It's a very simple one, but it's obviously some seafood in the mix here. So I know my family probably would be getting the chicken or the prime rib. Actually, they're not open quite yet, but you can come on in here and kind of see the lobby. It's beautiful. Yeah, they're not open yet. Last time I was here, I couldn't even film the lobby. There's just so many people in here. But you see how it's like, it's beautiful. You can tell it's obviously a little bit older. Just uh, buy off the booths and everything, but it's beautiful. Love you. I'm excited to eat here for lunch. Look at the octopus's te tentacles. Hi. Opens at 11.30. We got 11.45. Smells like seafood too, so maybe if you don't like seafood, this might not be the place for you. Cool, right? I'm excited. By the way, it's, there's 16 million gallons in the seas. Maybe we'll get to see Nemo today. Very cool. You can come on in here. It was open. I didn't like break in or anything, and the restrooms are open too. All right. Honestly, moving forward, I actually might start doing these like early morning reservations so that way I can actually kind of like film the area without disturbing people. Can kind of take a peek in there, see the aquarium. Hopefully we get a good spot. This was nice too. Uh, actually, Alice just came by and she asked if I was checked in. I said, no, I can't right now, it's too early. She just manually checked me in and then they're gonna call my name. I don't know if it's a text message, but I think if you're in the area, they'll call your name. Yeah, I even found phones here inside this building. Kids, this is called a phone. There's actually quite a lot of people here already. Now we didn't get up to the glass, but we can still obviously see it. And it's just really, really cool environment. It's kind of like Space 220, but a lot smaller. It's like the similar content that, uh, concept. There's three layers or three floors to this. You can request if you want. I've actually never been on the second floor, so I was like, this is fine. Ooh, there's a shark going by in the glass right now. This is probably the best I've been able to film it too because other with my other camera it was really fuzzy. But here's Coral Reef. It's been here since 86. To my knowledge, there has been no refurbishments done on it. It's just like a really cool place to be. And hopefully good food too. An early lunch. 11.30, they started sitting. And I met our server, V. He literally spells his name with a V. So, welcome to Coral Reef. Excited to be here. Let me go up to the third floor here real quick. Just because we're never ever here. Cool, right? All right, let's dine. No physical menu here, but I like how it says dinner even though it's lunch. It's the same as dinner, same menu. The chairs aren't really the comfiest, so if you guys want to get a booth, definitely going to be a lot more comfy, and it's really dark. Sorry. Really not the comfiest chairs. I mean, if you look, it's kind of just like a chair you'd find in like a kid's cafeteria. It's just wood. No cushion for your butt. It's actually getting packed here, so popular restaurant, I guess. I mean, I can never really find a reservation. I can usually find dinner reservations during the fireworks, which makes a lot of sense. They have grilled mahi-mahi. I could try that, but I don't really want to try it. So I'm thinking the chicken, which I might've gotten that last time. As far as the aquarium goes, if you get put in the center, it's a lot better because the edge is just kind of like a coral. But if you're here in the center, it's kind of open. Hey, how's it going, V? Alright, I just ordered. Obviously, it's gonna be really quick since we're, I'm like one of the like six parties here, even though it's getting pretty loud already. You can imagine how loud it is when the whole place is full, but here's the bread and butter. I was expecting the bread to be warm, not really the warmest bread, but I was easily able to just kind of like rip it apart with my fingers. Bread, I'm not picky about bread, the butter's really good. This is good bread. It's not like flaky, it's really soft. 
I like the butter, I think, even more. It's really soft, bro. This is good. Well, while we're kind of just sitting here, here's kind of a look at how Epcot looks today. Figment is 55 minutes. What in the world is going on? What is Remy? Oh, it's down. Okay, that kind of makes sense. 105, 30, 15. People like their mission space. I'm very surprised. We got another jam-packed park. It's insanity here. I literally push the bread to the other side, but I keep going back for more. It's it's really good. Family of four is going to go through this with ease if I just ate it by myself. The butter, by the way, was like orange and, and honey. It was delicious. He was going to bring me more, but I was like, I can't. I, I mean, I could. I could eat that just for that and have a free meal. But you theoretically, I feel like I could. And then get like an app. The bread's good. All right, my shrimp cocktail is here, though. Look at this bad boy. I always like to get shrimp cocktails just to see how they like order them or like, how do they prepare them. This is a different one. It's probably going to be good. The shrimp cocktail is bad. Uh, I wouldn't suggest coming here then, you know. <laughs> Gotta get shrimp. It's cool listening to the kids. They're like, oh, I saw a shark. I saw a turtle. However, shrimp cocktail confirmed confirmed good. Although they kind of like intertwine it and it's hard to like get them apart. You gotta work for it, you know? But it's a basic shrimp cocktail, nothing special. Ooh, look at that big hammerhead shark and the stingray swimming at us. I wonder if Disney like had it in initially thought like having the ceiling also be an aquarium. Imagine that. But I feel like that's something you only see in like Dubai or something. There's the hammerhead again. Wow. It's a cool hammerhead. All right, don't get me wrong, the shrimp was great. It was just shrimp though, but I honestly can't get over the bread. I should have said yes to more bread. The bread is good. All right, well, here's a look at the chicken. It looks delicious. That sauce is actually like a yogurt, a citrus yogurt, spiced roasted seasonal vegetables, which we got carrots. And then I don't know what's under there. I don't know what that is. If anybody knows what that, like the yellow stuff is, let me know. But it looks good. Hopefully it tastes good. Presentation's kind of out of this world. I like how they did like a swirl around it. It's really neat. I'm gonna try the carrots too because they look good and I don't typically like carrots, but hey, it looks good. And also you gotta do you gotta do the spin. Someone tagged me on Instagram like the day before and said I gotta do a spin like Kyle. I thought it was funny. Okie dokie and a chokey. The only thing, this is just difficult to eat. Chicken. We just made chicken the other night. Ah, oh, look at that. I'm gonna try this yellow stuff. Not bad, carrots. Oh my gosh, I don't like carrots. Holy cow. These carrots are amazing. Chicken? Okay. Food quality, this is right up there with Space 220. No joke. My gosh, these carrots are so good. Oh my gosh, we have a giant stingray coming. That thing is huge. Holy cow. It looks tiny in, in, on the screen here, but that thing is huge. And that is all she wrote. I give it a, an 8.5 out of 10. It's good all around. I think when my family comes here next, I'm going to want to take them there. And also there's a podium here for check-in as well. I've always wanted to do that with my family, just to get like a diverse set of dishes. It'd be nice. Well, I do know it's some spring break for some states. As you can tell, Nemo is... Look at this, they have stanchions up. Not as crazy as before. <laughs> okay, we found the reason why it's a long line. Look at this, is the lightning lane. My goodness. However, Figment says 55 minute wait, so I have to see what that looks like. Look at all these chickens. Well, this is a false alert. We've got absolutely nothing. Well, my cruise is tomorrow and I still haven't packed. I'm gonna pack a little bit, I think, in today's video. And also, again, cruise videos begin tomorrow. It's the last time I'm saying it, get ready for it. I'm gonna stop here at Canada to get a little dessert. I honestly don't think I'm gonna like this, but we're gonna try it. Chocolate maple whiskey cake. Honestly, this looks actually pretty good. Hopefully it's not too rich, but it smells like scallops over here. It's not the greatest smelling booth. But we gotta go in Canada to try it. You know, it's a busy one when people are walking in Canada too. Usually don't find many people back over here. It's hard, it's not soft. It's a hard cake, it's kind of like a brownie. 
the consistency right now. Whew. It's not as rich as I thought. I don't, I'm not like a chocolate lover, so it's not overly rich. It's not bad. Kind of reminds me of like what I would think like the Matilda cake would be like. You know, that guy was eating when she made him eat cake. Low key, I don't mind this. I don't mind it at all. It was actually really good. I'd get it again. Very surprisingly. Also, by the way, we haven't been back here since they reopened this area. Because they like redid the whole building. Made it better. Updated it. It was down for quite some time. It's not like there's anything up here anyways. It'd be really cool if they used this building upstairs. I think it's the kitchen actually for Le Cellier. But I'm unsure. Like it'd be nice if these were actually gift shops, but it's just all for all for show. It always has been, to my knowledge. And then of course Canada far and wide. They didn't redo this at all. Oh, there's like a rainbow in the water. It's crazy this isn't a theme park, you know? Oh, Canada. Like imagine if they actually, I, they could make a suite in there. This could be like a Cinderella suite in a way. Will they ever do that? Definitely not, but that'd be so cool. Like what if every park had an opportunity for someone to stay in and you entered right here? One can only dream. Honored with the show. We might as well go watch Canada far and wide. It's been a hot second. Le Cellier Steakhouse is another one I need to try. I haven't been there in years, since like 2019. Casey and I will go there one of these nights. Next show is in five minutes. And here we go. It's actually a pretty packed show. There's people that just missed the show, but they're actually gonna let them in. They just had to close the door, so that's kind of nice. Six time zones and 5,700 miles. Most musical Canadian accents you'll find anywhere in the country. Just west of the Atlantic in central Canada, you'll hear lots of French accents because French is an official language spoken here. Quebec City is one of North America's oldest metropolises. Nation's capital city, Ottawa, a city of museums, festivals, and celebrations. Oh, and in the winter, don't miss your chance to ice skate on the Rideau Canal. Always a good time. Canada. I do love Canada's grass. I love it. I will say today's a really good way to look at the blend in blue. You see that? You see Guardian Show Building barely? At least I can barely see it in the sun. Maybe on camera you can pick it up. It's very much blending in today. By the way, I believe they hand out peanut butter and jelly sandwiches here at the PB&J Garden on the weekends. So if you want free breakfast, free lunch, free dinner, come here. We've got a small little concrete update here already. They haven't really done much, but all they did was spray paint this. Just a quote, you can kind of see the difference here. And this is relatively new too, and they already have to refresh it. See this? It's supposed to look like that. Now the other ones have already faded. Even these ones too. I was like, I smell something. And then I looked down and it was extra shiny. That's what it's supposed to look like. So it looks like it's going to be redoing this, but no need to close off any section. It's just like a little top coat. It's crazy they have to redo that even though they kind of just reopened, well not reopened, they just made this 
like a couple years. However, I'm gonna start getting out of here. Got a lot of work to do before the crews have to pack. Plan for the cruise as well. I just found Daisy's meet and greet. She's all the way up here now. She has shade. They won't be here for long though. When Community Core and Mickey and Friends opens up, we'll have their permanent meet and greet spot. Looks like they removed the caution tape. I don't know why they had that over here. All I gotta say with today, being a local is really fun. Pretty much just went there for lunch today. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. It's been a heck of a day. I haven't caught up with you guys in a couple hours here. Do y'all remember? Well, remember how I used to pack for cruises or solo cruises? I haven't done one in, gosh, like two years. I don't even know the last time I've been on a cruise solo, but I used to do everything in a backpack. Well, I'm here to tell you in 2024, I almost said 2023, I'm gonna be changing that. And um, the reason being because I think I might bring a backpack. I'm still indifferent. Cause I just want to be like hands free while I'm on the cruise. I'm probably gonna end up bringing a backpack, but um, it's only a three day cruise. So I'm gonna probably bring a carry on just so I don't have to, uh, well, I'm gonna make them carry it on so that I don't have to worry about it. I think I just answered my question. I'm gonna need to bring a backpack, but I just don't want all that weight on me while I'm kind of waiting for my room to be ready, you know? I definitely still can fit it all in my backpack with, with ease, with ease. Real quick though, we gotta go in my, my basement. And I must grab my suitcase. Ugh. Aww. Still have the Disney Wish tag on here. Now the allure, the allure, the allure? I say the allure. Um, it's a little bit older of a ship. It's made in Voyage was all the way back in 2010. So I'm a little bit worried about how many plugs are gonna be in my room. Put that. Honestly, I'm just discovering this now. I knew I packed it on my cruise. So I used to have this outlet charger, the Tessan outlet charger, which is actually allowed on cruise ships. It's like a surge protector that's not a surge protector. It just allows you to have way more outlets. Disney, I knew I packed it. I could have sworn I forgot it, but now I can't find it. So now it makes sense. I did pack it, but Disney took it out of my suitcase, which they shouldn't have because it's allowed, but okay. Scratch that, I can't even bring that now. But it's this. I wonder if this is gonna come in time, I don't think it is. It's this version, but it's the non-surge protector one. This is a surge protector. I had the non-surge protector one, now it's gone. <laughs> cool. I love how I'm just discovering that right now. Hopefully they have enough outlets, otherwise we're gonna be in trouble, but it's only me, so we should be fine. I honestly thought I just didn't pack it. It never crossed my mind that they took it out. Maybe it's not allowed anymore, but it is allowed because I brought it on the other ship. I brought it on Icon. is isn't just more on the safe side, I guess. You would think that they would put like a note in the bag to let me know. I don't know. Dang, that stinks. To either further my point, it doesn't make any sense because I've been on the Wish before. I don't know. I, I, I It's been good for like the past 20 cruises I've been on. I've been on the Wish twice and I brought it on and it's been good. I don't know, I even went through security too and I put my bag, actually no I didn't, just kidding. I put my backpack through, but not that backpack or that carry-on, what I'm sitting on. Honestly, after all this process, I might just take my backpack. I've got six shirts, seven, the one that I bought that's gonna be remain a mystery. A couple pants and then underwear and socks. Well, I couldn't fit everything in here, so I didn't end up packing anything in the lug. It's all good to go in the OG backpack, which has been on pretty much every solo cruise I have been on. I love how I was talking about bringing an actual luggage and I talked myself into just bringing a backpack. So with that, everybody, that is going to wrap up today's Daily Dose. See you guys tomorrow on the cruise ship. Thank you in the future, but in the past, for everybody who tuned into the live stream. And um, yeah, I'm excited to kick off this solo adventure, check off another Royal Caribbean ship. It's gonna be my ninth one. Ninth Royal ship, which is exciting. I'm going on my bread and butter. I love the mega ships. We're going on the Oasis class, the allure of the seas. Only one more of the Oasis class and it's um, the Utopia coming June, July, July. 
We'll see you guys tomorrow and uh, thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys enjoyed the lunch like I did and we're all packed. Finally, there is a huge gap of not recording. I was just doing a lot of work, but we're good. Bye-bye, guys.